How do you decide if you have surgery under general anesthesia or under local? This is lidocaine I'm holding in my hand, which I use for a lot of local procedures. Well, I'll give you my take on it. I'm a board certified plastic surgeon here in Beverly Hills, and I do lots of general anesthesia surgeries and local cases, okay? And then sometimes we do in between a twilight or sedation type of cases. Well, it really comes down to how big the area is and can we effectively use numbing medicine to numb up the area so that you don't feel what's happening. And if you can't stand needles at all, local might not be a great option, okay? So for example, anything on the ear can generally be done using local medication. That is basically, we take something like lidocaine, which is you use at the dentist's office to numb up your tooth, but we numb up the whole ear so you can't feel anything that's happening. So I do this for a lot of ear surgeries where we pin the ears back or earlobe reductions, or if you have a hole in your ear, we actually can close it up under local while you're sitting there watching Netflix in the operating room. Not a big deal, okay? Now, bigger areas, people ask, can I do liposuction under local? And this is where it starts to get into a gray area. Sometimes I do liposuction if it's a small area using local anesthesia. But generally speaking, it's very hard to get enough numbing so that it's a completely comfortable experience for the patient. So in general, I recommend to use general anesthesia for liposuction cases that involves more than one area, okay? If it's a big operation like a tummy tuck or breast augmentation, you definitely wanna go undergo general anesthesia because there's no way for you to feel comfortable for someone actually manipulating the muscles, the skin, and the fascia, stretching out the breast in certain directions with numbing medicine alone. And what will happen is if you try to use too much of this stuff, it actually is cardiotoxic. It can actually cause arrhythmias in your heart. That's why cases under local can be more dangerous than general anesthesia because if you get too much of this in your system, you can actually die and get lidocaine toxicity. So one thing to note is a lot of doctors will offer to do things under local that they shouldn't be doing. The reason why is because they're not board certified and they can't have privileges at a surgery center and have access to an anesthesiologist to provide anesthesia, okay? So if someone offers you to do a tummy tuck under local, run the other direction because generally it means they're not board certified and they don't have access to general anesthesia services because they're not a legitimate doctor in the first place. By no means would you ever want to get such a procedure under local. You put your life and your results in jeopardy. If you have a question whether you can get a procedure under local or general anesthesia, check out my virtual consultation page at drdanielbarrett.com or leave your comments, questions right here on my YouTube page. And if you like what you saw, please feel free to give me a thumbs up and subscribe. Thanks so much.